color one in this video how to semicircle and these are given as center point and then point D and point P is given as tangent point and here as 90 degrees here is given 25 degrees and angle C F B so alpha is at okay first of all if you focus on triangle F A D we know that in a triangle sum of the interior angles equals 180 degrees so angle a d f here must be equal 65 degrees next step if we can link point c and point b like this notice that there's a diameter opposite of the angle a c b right so this angle is 90 degrees so now, if you focus on triangle ACB, we know that sum of the interior angles equals 180 degrees. So if here is 25 degrees, that means here must be equal 65 degrees. After that, if we can make point D and O2 like this, notice that this two length are also radius right that means these two length are equal so we know that here is tangent point that means this angle is 90 degrees next step if you focus on triangle ADO2 if here is 25 degrees that means angle d o 2 a is also 65 degrees right okay and also if we connect point d and point p like this notice that we get an isosceles triangle therefore let's write here triangle b or 2d is an isosceles triangle so let's call here angle theta here must be equal angle theta because of isosceles triangle and then we know that sum of the two opposite interior angles equals one exterior angles therefore 2 theta equal 65 degrees that means theta equal 32.5 degrees let's write here theta equal 32.5 degrees if you notice that whole angle equal 65 degrees so this angle is also 32.5 degrees right Therefore, we get an angle bisector line. So, this red line has become an angle bisector line. Okay, let's remind you if we have an angle bisector line like this, so these two angles are equal to each other and Let's call here point K. If we draw a perpendicular from point K, like this, and one more, notice that this side and this side must be equal. And these two perpendicular must be equal to each other. So I mean that this triangle and this triangle are kangaroo. Okay, let's return the question. We have an angle bisector line here, right? So that means this side length and this side length must be equal to each other. Therefore, as a result, triangle 
BDF and triangle BCD are congruent, right? Because they have same angles and same sides. So triangle BFD congruent with triangle BCD, right? Perfect. Therefore, this side length and this side length must be equal. So, if it is alpha, that means this angle must be equal alpha. So now, if you focus on triangle FCB, you know that sum of the interior angles equals 180 degrees. So alpha plus alpha plus 65 degrees equals 180 degrees. Therefore, 2 alpha equal 115. So alpha is going to be 57.5 degrees. All right? Okay. Or you can think like this. Let me clear here. If you notice that sum of these two opposite angles equals 180 degrees, right? So that means BFDC is a cyclic quadrilateral. So if you draw a circumstance of this quadrilateral, it passes through point C point D, point F, and point B. Let's draw it like this. Notice that if it is 32.5 degrees, these two angles have same arc, right? That means angle D, F, C, is also 32.5 degrees. You know that angle DFB is 90 degrees. So alpha plus 32.5 degrees must be equal 90 degrees. Therefore, alpha is going to be 57.5 degrees. Thanks for watching. If you want more videos like this, please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Take care and